Do you guys remember last episode when I said this? I want a boat, bro. <laughs> Makes me want a boat so bad. Well. Brent and I bought a boat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you guys do? What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. Today, I want to introduce you to Captain Lady Sam. What up? That's my official title. <laughs> what did you do? I bought a boat. We bought a boat, actually. Woo! Brent a boat. and Sam have bought a boat. Guys, the adventure is about to get a lot more real. We have access to the whole Kona coastline now. This is gonna be epic. We're going out for its maiden voyage today. Spearfishing, Nevada fishing, no idea this is gonna be sick. Yeah, just the Kona Coast though. We can't really go anywhere else in this thing. Get out of here, we're going to Tsunami Buoy next week. You guys didn't think we were gonna buy a boat, but we bought a boat. <laughs> guys, look at this cute little boat. Blue beard, P14, 72 stroke Yamaha. Pumped. We are gonna do some adventures in this thing. Woo! Stoked. We have access to the whole entire island now. Guys, it's got an office chair as a captain's seat. It swivels. It swivels, it does. You can fight, turn around. It also doubles as a fighting chair. So when we get that real big fish on, fighting chair, there it is. Are you gonna be sad? I'm like, I'm one, <laughs> one step away from a tear. <laughs> You're gonna see it on YouTube all the time there though. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep in touch. And what are your thoughts? You got a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this boat. Couldn't be happier to send it to you guys. Stoked. 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 Fucking guy. <laughs> Are we renaming her? Nice. Manpachis. We're going to go do some akule hunting. We're going to go out here. We're going to learn to ikishibi. I don't know about ikishibi, guys. We're going to have to go get some serious tackle. But regardless, we are unbelievably pumped. Are we going tomorrow? Probably. I want to go tomorrow. So we came here to buy a boat, guys, and we didn't realize that Britt's truck didn't have a trailer hitch. So she didn't tell us that until we until we arrived here. But uh, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how this is gonna be. This is gonna be a little interesting. First day in the water, new boat. Sam, why are we leaking? What happened? We forgot the flag. <laughs> there we go. Right. First day, how excited? Making sure the bill's pump works. That's really right, well. you're just testing it out. <laughs> I like the rooster tail at the back. What do we think, Britt? Are we stoked? Yeah, I just don't want to sink this boat on the first day. I'm gonna let's sink to, it. Let's try not to do that. So the bill's pump is for. Yeah. Wise man once said, as long as it's going out faster than it's coming in, you're good. Sounds like science to me. Yeah. Just rinsing it out. Rit. I hate, I hate you can't tell, like... How's that lao lao? It's good. I didn't think I was gonna like cold lao lao, but... It's amazing. Wild boar lao lao. I killed it. All right, guys, we've made it out here for our first dive aboard what? What are we naming it? I have no idea. We have no idea what it's being named, right? Right now it's... Right now it is Bluebeard. Guys, comment down below with what the girls should name this. What do we got? Fish fillet. Someone said fish fillet and I love that. That's a pretty good one. Comment down below, let us know. But for now, we're out here. We're diving one of these moorings that we just, we just couldn't get here. Look how far that is. We just could not get here without a boat. So this is just so, so sick. We're gonna jump in here. We're gonna do some spear fishing. I don't know, just, just stoked to be here on your boat for the first time. This island is just so pretty from the water. It's so, so different. Dolphins, we're gonna be doing blue water stuff. We're gonna be fishing. We're gonna learn to fish. We're gonna learn. I wanna go out there and do the jigging and see if we can catch some, uh, see if we can catch those, those little baby shibis and maybe some ukus and stuff. We're gonna go maybe do the crab trapping, the Kona crabs. No idea, but this opens up so many possibilities here in Hawaii. We will see you in the water. Right when we jumped in the water, there was a massive pile of moo, but that moo was right below the boat, right on the mooring ball, and that's kind of what we went to look for. But we decided we'll leave those for the girls, and me and Dylan will swim out to deep water and see what we can find. Now, the water was dirty, there was man o' wars everywhere. Dylan got stung by one in the face, but we managed to get outside of the weed line just a little bit where the kind of algae and everything kind of accumulates, and then Dylan found one of these rainbow runners just kind of cruising along and managed to get a good mm -hmm. shot on it. Bro, you let a rainbow runner rock you up. How the f did that? <laughs> I'll go down and get it. 
I'll go check it out. So Dylan's rainbow runner got tied up in the reef somehow, and I decided, you just dove, so I'll go down and I'll kind of assess what's going on. And as I was cruising down, I'm just kicking nice and slow, paying attention, looking around me, and then right here, the shark came out of nowhere, really aggressive, right up at me. Clearly, it had just eaten that rainbow runner and was kind of super aggro, running around, looking for more food. And that's definitely a dangerous time. You you know, he's he just fed, and he's looking for more food. He's wondering if I was the one that provided that food beforehand, and that's definitely a situation that I don't like, and I like to get out of that. Sharks and man of wars, bro, we pissed somebody off. <laughs> So overall, our first day on the new boat was not going wonderful. You know, we jumped in, there was dirty water, then we had rocked up, then the shark came along, the whole surface was covered in man wars we were swimming literally between them as we were cruising out here. Dylan got hit in the face by one, but luckily I managed to dodge him. I decided to go down and check out the shaft, see if I could get it out, see what was going on down there. You can see how I'm, I'm looking all around. I do not like sharks, guys. No matter how much time I spend out there and I spend in the water and I hang out with them, I still, it doesn't get old. I don't like them. I'm looking all over, especially after they've eaten something. That's kind of really your only dangerous situation with sharks is when they've eaten something or the water's a little dirty and you've got a bunch of fish on you, a bunch of blood around, that's always when you've got to be the most careful. So you can see I carefully go down there, I find a shaft, it wasn't tangled up too bad and I managed to just unhook it, pop it out, and I was like, man, it's time to get out of here. We need, we've got a boat, <laughs> let's go find a new spot. Dark and scary, I saw a shark. <laughs> Dark and scary, I saw a shark, yeah. This is what that ledge kind of looks like. Yeah. Over it. What kind of shark? Big Just shark? the same f***ing one, but he was zipping around. Let's go have him drop us over there. All right. They're already drinking, they're done. But they'll come pick us up. <laughs> come get us, hoes! Hey, we need a lift, yeah. So I looked at the map real quick and I managed to find us another little point of reef to go hang out on. And again, as soon as we jumped in the water, dirty, a little dark and scary, but Dylan managed to stick a really nice rainbow runner for the first fish landed on the boat. And guys, again, we don't have a name for it yet. Let us know down below what you guys think. We're gonna have so, so much fun on this thing and we're so excited to take you guys along with us. So I grew up on boats, I love boats, just for literally anything. It's just something to do that's not crappy. <laughs> that's not like a bad, a bad, you know, I just want to do hood rat things with my friends kind of thing. You know, you just call your friends, you go on the boat and you look for fun. It's being in nature, it's fishing, it's just being on the water. If you can't be in the water, you can be on the water. And that's second best, at least. So yeah, I love it. That was meh. Sam still said it no, 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 so again. well. No, we're gonna just... Hood rat things with your friends. <laughs> I can't even follow up with that. <laughs> Guys, nothing is cooler than just being out here on your own boat. I know we get, we're very, very lucky to, to kind of ac have access to boats all over the world and guys invite us and it's cool and we love that, but there's nothing quite like your own boat out here chilling, doing whatever. Like we went diving, the water was dirty, no worries. We came out here, decided let's do some Nabetta fishing, let's chill, let's have a couple beers. The sun is going down right now. I can see Maui, I can see the top of Mauna Kea, all the mountains around, just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous spot. So pumped, are you pumped? Yeah, we suck at fishing though, so maybe this will help fishing. We're gonna be way better at fishing soon. We're gonna learn the Nabetas, we're gonna learn the Menpachis at night, we're gonna go out and do the, we're gonna get a big light so we can go out deep and just see what kind of cool stuff comes up in the dark. We're gonna do a lot of fun stuff guys so stay tuned because it's gonna be sick. There are no fish here. There are no fish here. Don't come here guys, there are no fish here. Homemade Lao Laos. Bite. With that wild boar. 
Mmm. Mmm. Homemade lalas with that wild boar that I shot the other day. This is it. This is living right here. Out on the boat. Not catching any fish. <laughs> Best day ever. <laughs> but still, <laughs> best day ever, right? <laughs> best day ever. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. We've got so many more adventures planned on this boat, and we will see you right here next time on Ryan Meyer's Expeditions. All right, guys. Brits over there, she's fishing. We're no, we're no problems kind of girls. Uh, we couldn't get the boat started, but um, just started like two seconds ago, so good times. Thanks, bud. Just got a fish, meantime. No. What'd you get to top A? Uh, another top A. <laughs> Check it out. Look at this. <laughs> the top A. That's freaking cool. Meanwhile, the boys are just trying to start the boat again. <laughs> I'm so stoked.